Teodora. I am Liana. And we are from Greece. Tonight we are going to prepare an amazing dinner. What are we going to prepare? Pita souvlaki. Mmm, kind of a very tasty street food, but healthy street Greek mm. food. Yeah, healthy, kinda. <laughs> Let's see what do we need for this amazing pita souvlaki. First of all, the main and the most important ingredient is the meat, obviously. We have meat from pork and we have cut it in small pieces, as you see, and we put it on the sticks. We are going to grill it. Then we have the pita, which is the special bread. Um, yeah, Ileana, do you want to say something about this pita? <laughs> We're gonna use a little bit of olive oil I and will then do it grill now. it again. So we do like this, we grill it and I like to add also a little bit, just a little bit of oregano. And we do of course the same process for mm -hmm. every piece We of call bread. this food uh, pita souvlaki because this is pita and this is souvlaki. <laughs> Easy. Very obvious. <laughs> also so. we will put in our bread some tomatoes. Mm -hmm some onions, which I'm still uh, cutting, and fried potatoes. I think this is the most unhealthy part, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and come on, this is super healthy. And we'll super. add some paprika, salt, pepper, and the secret ingredient. And now we're gonna show you how to prepare tzatziki, which is the sauce we use to pita souvlaki. So stay here to see how to prepare the tzatziki. So, are you prepared for the tzatziki? Hmm. With tzatziki. <laughs> 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 so, we need yogurt, of course, olive oil, vinegar, and garlic. And don't forget, Ta -da! the most important, the cucumber. We already cut it, we peeled it, and we trimmed it. So, here it's ready. And there is a very small but important secret. We added a little bit of salt on this cucumber in order for the water to come out. And we throw away the water because we don't want our tzatziki just like a river yeah. flowing in our supply. Exactly. So what do we do, Ilya? So we add our ingredients. Get ready. Let me help you. I will start mixing because yeah, that's, that's my purpose for today. Mix the tzatziki. <laughs> you woke up with this goal. <laughs> yes. It happens sometimes in life. Like you wake up and you think, what shall I do today? Mm. Yeah. I shall mix ingredients for tzatziki. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice goal. <laughs> I like it because the result will be really amazing and super tasty. So, I what's next? The olive oil. Olive oil. Mm. olive oil. If you didn't see how we prepared the lunch, then you should see it because olive oil is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Literally everywhere in the Greek cuisine. <laughs> what else, Ileana? Vinegar. From the most uh, important ingredients, garlic, trimmed garlic. No vampires will come next to us tonight. <laughs> and no kisses yeah. either. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so we just mix it very, very well. Mm -hmm. and exactly. And it is ready. I'll mix it better, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do it well. All right, our meat is getting grilled and it's actually almost ready right now. It's very important to turn it very often when we are cooking it in order for it to not get burned, to not get sticked and also to make it soft. So we're turning it as fast as we can, as often as we can. And look how awesome it looks in the end. Oh my God, I just want to eat it now. But I will keep it in order to make our souplaki. Sorry, it's 
Oh. Action! All right. We are at the moment when we need to grill our bread as well. It's really, really important to grill the bread as we want it to become soft. If we don't grill it, when we put and we try to wrap our pita, it will just break in our hands and it will fall apart completely. That's why it's very, very important to grill it. Personally, I prefer to leave it a little longer in order to make the bread a little brown. It's just taste. So you grill it as long as you want. The most important moment, the moment of magic has come. Yeah, okay. now we wrap our pita souvlaki. We have our pita. Yeah. <laughs> and tzatziki, of course. You can put as much as you want, you know, you can think if you want to kiss tonight or not and yeah. just add a lot of it or just a little bit. Also, for the meat, it's ready, grilled, and the trick is that we put it between two plates in order to take it out from the stick. ta -da! And then Amazing. we can really <laughs> fast put it in our pita. So. We add the meat after tomato. I'm ready with some onion here. Exactly. Just a little bit. Again, it's it's all about your taste. If you like onion, put a lot of it. If you don't, just put a little bit. You can also take it out, skip mm -hmm. it. Many times when I eat outside, I skip the onion. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> and now we wrap it. Check our new tutorial <laughs> how to wrap pita splaki. It seems easy, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's a very tricky part actually because we want to keep it together and to be easy to eat it in your hand. That's and it is ready! Kaliorexi! <laughs>